Today's AI news includes the CEO of OpenAI slated to testify on the Hill, Wendy's testing a new chatbot, doctors using GPT-3 without telling patients, and much, much more. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown, all the AI headline news you need in five minutes or less. It is no secret that the White House and the U.S. regulatory apparatus in general have been getting more and more focused on AI. Last week, of course, we saw the meeting between CEOs and Vice President Kamala Harris. We've heard rumors of draft legislation from Chuck Schumer. And next week, the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, will testify before Congress for the first time. Altman will appear before the Senate Judiciary Committee's Subcommittee on Privacy, Technology, and the Law in a hearing called Oversight of AI, Rules for Artificial Intelligence. Other panelists will include Christina Montgomery, the Vice President and Chief Privacy and Trust Officer at IBM, and Gary Marcus, who is a Professor Emeritus at New York University and a notable AI safety critic. The top Republican on the committee, Senator Josh Hawley, says artificial intelligence will be transformative in ways we can't even imagine, with implications for Americans' elections, jobs, and security. This hearing marks a critical first step towards understanding what Congress should do. Now, for those of you who are not used to watching congressional hearings, they tend to be a lot more politics than substance, but hopefully with the seriousness of the AI issue, that will change in this case. Speaking of the U.S.'s engagement with AI, one of the things that kind of went under the radar last week as part of the White House's announcement is that they're challenging hackers to break effectively the top AI models at an event called DEF CON 31 later this year. The White House says this independent exercise will provide critical information to researchers and the public about the impacts of these models and will enable AI companies and developers to take steps to fix issues found in them. Organizers of the event called it the largest red teaming exercise ever for any group of AI models. Over in the land of disruption, Stack Overflow is the latest company to experience the negative impacts of changes wrought by AI. Stack Overflow's traffic was down 14% in March as more and more developers get their answers from sources like ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot rather than from Stack Overflow message boards. This might reinforce concerns from companies like Google that the default search interface for people to get answers is changing to something that's a lot more like ChatGPT than the Google search and message boards of the past. In something that feels like it was kind of inevitable, the Washington Post is reporting that Amazon is being absolutely flooded by books written almost entirely by ChatGPT and other AI tools. What's the problem with that? Well, Margaret Mitchell, the chief ethics scientist at the AI startup Hugging Face, says the main issue is losing track of what the truth is. Without grounding, the system can make stuff up. And if it's the same made-up thing all over the world, how do you trace it back to what reality is? Y Combinator founder Paul Graham wrote about this in a tweet yesterday saying... Observations suggest that people are switching to using ChatGPT to write things for them with almost indecent haste. Most people hate to write as much as they hate math, way more than admit it. Within a year, the median piece of writing could be by AI. I warn you now, this is going to have unfortunate consequences, just as switching to living in suburbia and driving everywhere did. When you lose the ability to write, you also lose some of your ability to think. I don't have the slightest hope of averting this switch. I often tell startups it's safe to bet on laziness, and this is one of the biggest bets on laziness in history. The switch is going to happen, and we won't know the consequences till it's too late. I'm not warning about the switch to AI in the hope of averting it, but to warn the few people who care enough to save themselves or their kids. Learn to use AI. It's a powerful technology, and you should know how to use it. But also, learn to write. Speaking of using AI to write, apparently doctors are using AI to draft messages, but not telling their patients. This article in The New Scientist says that a number of U.S. healthcare organizations are trialing GPT-3 for drafting clinical messages, but patients aren't being informed, and many AI researchers are warning of errors creeping in. Going back to that concern from the Hugging Face chief ethicist, it seems like this is definitely an area where we would want to make sure that those errors aren't there before we actually release this information into the wild. Finally, Wendy's and Google have teamed up to create a new AI chatbot to handle ordering. Their goal, they say, is to streamline the ordering process to prevent long lines in the drive-thru and basically be more efficient. The goal, says the CEO, is for it to be, quote, very conversational. You won't know you're talking to anybody but an employee. The CEO of Google Cloud says you may think driving by and speaking into a drive-thru is an easy problem for AI, but it's actually one of the hardest. He cites all the extra noise in a family car, people changing their minds midway through their order, and much, much more. The chatbot will be rolled out in June in a restaurant in Columbus, Ohio, and you gotta think that there will be more on the way after that. That's it for today's. If this was helpful, please like this video and subscribe to the channel or go look for the AI Breakdown in your podcast app, and I'll see you back here in a little bit for the main AI Breakdown.